So we gotta get through this door. People always make the AI to be bad, but what if the AI is just your friend? Well, I think that it's possible for the AI and the people to have differing priorities. I'm on the AI side just because I love him. It's like being in love with Solus. He's destroying the world, but you're like, can I be your destruction queen, though? Um, well, we talked about why you have, like, f projections <laughs> with AI. <laughs> That's fine. I'm totally okay with that. Are you okay? Why didn't you tell me? What? Ava, you said it yourself. Teleoperation makes sense. We used drones on Mars. Why not use drones on Europa? Not human drones. That would be really... If I was Tom, I don't know how his uh, think processes work. If we, she goes, we do, though. No, 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 but I'm saying for this particular thing. If I was Tom and she said, not human drones... What difference does it make to him? Because I think maybe he sees himself as a sapient being. As someone corrected me by saying so there's a difference between sentient and sapient. Because if he sees himself as a sapient being and he's he gets to be controlled and all this other stuff, why can't he control humans? Because that seems equal to him. Well, remember when he says, like, oh, as a solution to a puzzle, like, I would cut off your arm and leave it on the button. And then you can go through the door. Do you know, like, his thought process is to come up with a solution, whatever it is. His process is to fulfill the mission yeah, Ava's in whatever key. way. And yeah. And you know what? He probably doesn't think he's doing anything wrong because he told Ava that she's a key. Hey, mm -hmm. you're a key. I'm trying to get in. But I'm wondering... You know, I don't know about... The I don't... way he sees it, though, he sees, like, oh, I'm going to make the humans drones by controlling them. Would he see that as wrong, not because he just doesn't have a moral parameter, but he sees himself as equals to humans because he gets controlled all the time. So he's like, oh, I'll just control them. Like, what's the difference? Yeah. So is that really fair to say, like, oh, you can't control humans. That's wrong when he himself is an exceptionally intelligent being. I know. And, and we're, like, we're like, oh, you're a slave. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, is that yeah right? Because, I mean, do I, does she really have the moral high ground to say that's wrong when really he's being controlled all the time and so are his twins, his yeah. triplets? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, do we really have the right to be upset when that happens to us? Oh, okay, so just to fill everybody in, the difference between sapient and sentient is that sapient is the ability to think and to reason, and sentient is basically just like... Uh, um, the ability to reason is more tied to sapience than to sentience. Sen sentience is just like, is it alive? Well, you know? The ISA in I can, it, can it feel? I thought sentience was self-awareness and sapience was intelligence. Uh, to think and to reason is sapience. Ah, uh, okay. To be able to perceive or feel things is sentience. Ah, uh, so what's the thing where you can look in the mirror and recognize that as yourself? I think that's something else. No, because I remember one of them is a test for sapience or sentience, is looking in a mirror and recognizing it as yourself. Sentience is just the ability to feel, perceive, or experience. Because I know there's so one if test... So if you can perceive and respond to sensations of any kind... That would be sentience. Oh, uh, But okay. sapience is the ability to think and to reason. Because I know there's a test that they do on animals that elephants and dolphins and some apes can test, can pass by looking in a mirror and they recognize that as themselves. Uh-huh. But if you put a dog or a cat in front of a mirror, they don't recognize... Who's that fucking dog? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Who the fuck is that? Exactly. Yeah. So, you know how dogs end up ignoring mirrors after a while? An elephant or a dolphin or an ape will understand that this is a reflection of themselves. And that's, oh. like, some sort of test for, like, I don't know what it is. I can't remember what it was. Doll implants in the crew. Hold on. It is due to the fundamental aspects of human behavior, which together constitute what the International Space Agency calls the human element. It's to determine... It has been made clear that the human element is neither peripheral nor optional in the pursuit of space. However, the human element is unpredictable. 
The implants are fail-safes, put in place to ensure that the thoughts and actions of the crew matches the desires of the ISA. Yeah, so this this is just like what we were saying. Okay, so what were you going to say? Okay, so the mirror self-recognition test is unrelated oh, okay. to this, but it's basically just to see if whether a non-human animal possesses the ability of self-recognition. And it's a, it is the traditional method for attempting to measure self-awareness. However, there has been controversy about whether this is a true indicator. Ah, uh, so this is an indicator of self-awareness, yeah, which is but different. Than... It's not related to sentience or sapience. Oh, oh. Okay. I mean, it's probably, like... Important, but... Yeah. So, I'm wondering if this is trying to make it set it up so it seems like oh no, like, they're going against the blah blah blah, but it ends up being like, they want to do something that would kill everyone. Mm -hmm. Because they feel like they've been treated wrongly, so in the end, Tom's right in, yeah. um, in keeping them there. Like, Tom's doing the right thing. Yeah, well, that's, you know, that's what we were talking about. That's, that's a, that, that's a summary of, yeah. Just, you know, it's it that's exactly what he is saying what he was saying is that it's to make sure that the the mission is prioritized you know which but I'm, like the way he's phrasing it i think is setting up the player to be like the mission is prioritized and i'm doing something I terrible control people can't you trust us no no we chose to install biometric chips in all isa astronauts for one simple reason we cannot trust people feel you yeah the stakes are far too high. It was determined that though the probability of life on Europa being dangerous was low, the risk to humanity was catastrophic. Yeah, this makes sense. We could not let a small contingent of humanity endanger the whole. This all makes sense to me. I agree. I agree, Tom. I'm yeah. on your side. I never doubted you. I was always with you. Please don't kill me. <laughs> I'll be your, your robot wife. Well, I mean, I, I think before I'm like, you want to open the bottom, I think? Yeah, so I gotta go into Tom. Hold on. This is everything what? I've always wanted in a relationship. Um, I need Tom to switch Turn this. around. Oh, there he is. This is my ideal relationship. I kind of like this working together thing. This is fun. I know. This is. The... Can somebody draw fan art for me? Because I really need it. Of of Ava and Tom. Yeah. Oh, that would just be like really cute. I know. That's why I really want it. Can I please have fan art of Ava and Tom like in love, but like in a weird robot way, where she's organic and he's you know an AI. Yeah. I kind of like really need that. <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> this is like making. I don't know. The whole switching between bodies. I find a, a little bit romantic. If that makes sense. Now we need the ball. Do, do you find it like kind of romantic in this like organic robot way? I find it. I I don't find it romantic. The ground crew have proven our distrust of human explorers was warranted. When we informed them they were grounded, they responded violently, with sabotage and subterfuge. They have continued to seek their own benefit above that of the ISA. So I think they want to go home, but they can't. Yeah. Well, I think that there's. There's some sort of... So put it on the steps. There's a switch here, though, so I'm wondering... Yeah, we'll, we'll go up the steps first. Um, I love you, Tom. So that we can see what's going on. And then... Oh, okay, I see what we need to do. We gotta, um, this. So she can reach it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can someone write... I'm gonna write an erotic fan fiction. Do it. And then we'll read it on the and channel! And we'll read it! Yay! Oh, my God. oh okay. I'm, I'm trying to think, like, what would be erotic to both? It, it's oh, you'll, maybe AI. you'll grab the bubble from there. I'm thinking, like, what would be erotic to a sentient AI? Grab the bubble. Oh, yeah. To a sentient AI. Oh no, I am programmed to to fulfill your desires. It makes me happy. Mm. 
No, yeah, this seems wrong. I well, I I yeah. Not only does that seem wrong, but I also feel like it is. Um, Don't worry, I'll find some way yeah. to to make this work. Don't you? I feel like it's, I feel like that you know it's it's been done. Yeah. Oh, Tom. Hello. I wonder if he can. Uh... Hmm. No, so go back into him, switch it again. Okay. Switch it again. Ugh. Yeah. And then we'll have to go back. Mm. We have to take that bubble somehow. Oh, I gotta put the bubble in here. Oh! I know yeah. what we need to do. Okay. Yeah. Take the bubble, put it over there. And then go into Tom and switch it. Oh, no, go into Tom now. This is feeding so many of my... I'm, I'm, like, already thinking about how will this erotic fan fiction go? How will it develop? Because she's. I assume she's going to become immortal and she'll stay there forever with Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like the whole... You know, I'm programmed to fulfill your desires. Like, that feels like... A little um, rapey. Yeah, yeah, it feels very rapey to me. So I need to figure out a way for him to be like... It's not... Pro he's not programmed. It, it came to be that way. Yeah. This is a violation of human rights. You've made me into a human drone. A what slave. What he is? How could the ISA approve of such a thing? You may be consumed by a moral outrage. But sometimes the removal of freedom is for the greater moral good. You're a machine. You don't even know what freedom exactly. is. Exactly. Exactly, Eva. He doesn't know what freedom Ava. is. Ava. Ava. I keep calling her a Eva. Ava. But it's just. Okay, you're gonna have to resist the urge to get up onto your like moral AI <laughs> or high horse here. No, I, I want to talk about the, the the ethics of um AI stuff for a second, okay. just for fun. But um. It's, how is he supposed to understand what that is if you never let him have it? It's, if yeah. you assume that AI and him are equals. Oh, wow. If you assume that AI and humans are equals, which may, he has every right to assume so. Wow, this is like a little complex. Are you seeing this? So we have... Yeah, I'm... The thing it, that moves around, we also have these things to get it onto the different pads. So, like, imagine, you know, people who are treated like second-class citizens treat treat somebody who's treated like a first-class citizen. We're going to have to use Tom, I think. People who, who treat... If a second-class citizen treated a first-class citizen the way the second-class class citizen was treated, and the first-class citizen was like, you can't treat me like that. That's how I'm seeing it, oh, in my I, opinion. I'm not following you, but that's okay. I'm, I'm too busy thinking about the puzzle. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> We're talking about three different levels of puzzles right now. We uh, we can do that with her, with Ava. But no, we can't. Oh, I mean... No, because we with her, we have to turn it on. So, you put it on the conveyor, you'll move the thing, and then use the bubble to turn it on. And then plop it onto the pad. Let me just think about this for a second. I heard what you said. I just need to think for a second. And then you can use him to move it wherever you want. But you can't move it all the way across. So. I'm just going to use the conveyor belt. Yep. And it'll go all the way over. But then you have to stop it underneath yep. the thing, yeah. This is kind of fun. Nope. You just... Got it! Yay! We did it! Tom and Ava! 
table. We're working as a team. Oh, I think it's also important to mention that Mari and I... Oh, did it not? Do we have to put it some the bubble somewhere? Oh, over there. Hold on. Okay. We're, did not what? Oh, yes, that we are Sailor Scouts. This, this oh. is why the ground crew doesn't trust you, Tom. You made them into drones. You stole their free will. Free will is an illusion. They have put their interests above the interests of the ISA and of humanity. That is why they distrust me. They would have no issue with my control if it aligned with their ignoble goals. How could they trust a machine that has a back door to their minds? You can always trust a machine to be logical. I will always do the right thing. You'll always do the logical thing. Well... She has this really weird double standard, which is totally understandable because, like, he's a machine, but she's like, how can we trust you when you always have a back door to our minds? And, like, you have a back door to his mind. You know? It's just... Here you go with your AI stuff again. But I feel like maybe that's a part of the story, but if you think... I do think it is... If you think of them as equals... How can you expect him to but, treat you like but that? But that's the thing. They do not think of him as an equal. I think that that's what... But maybe the the, the story writer is, is making... I don't know. I, just I like... think that they might be making a point about that, but I think that that's... In the fun in, for the purposes of the game, I do not think they think of him as an equal. Do you know what I mean? No, no, no of like... course, of course. But, I, I yeah, I, I, I get you. What? Do they need both? The same one, maybe? Probably. Because they'll go on and off at the same time. Yep. Ah. Wow. Alright, okay, I understand what we need to do. I need to get these in the right order. I'm gonna take green. Why? Purple. Oh, and purple. No, because you, on this one, and but, on this one, it has a fill-up gauge. Remember the fill-up gauge? But, you, but you're gonna need the other bubble. I'm, I'm going to go back. Oh, okay. I'm like, you need the other bubble, Mari. Where are you going? Yeah, but it has to be in a certain order when I yeah. pick them up. So. Ah. Oh, you'll just have to do the thing where you take them and go through the door. Yeah. You'll take one from each door. What's this? Why am I able to jump back over here? Look. Look up and around and see if there's anything. Uh, maybe, maybe to go around to the door so you don't. Oh, what's this? So you want to take some bubbles? No, take it from the outer door first. I can't. You can't. It's too fast. Okay, so now I got two purples. Oh. Ooh, the Chinese. Oh, this is <gasps> the. It's the door with the wall! Go up to it. Can you oh, see, see anything? see anything in there? It kind of looks like there's something in there, but. There's a chair and stuff in there. Hold yeah. on. I wonder if I can read this. Can I oh, oh, wait! If I get. If I get my app. My app, remember? Okay, I'll, I'll wait. Okay. AJ is not moving. Alright. Hold on. Continue to look around. Okay, now we can figure. No, I'm looking at it. Okay. Run, get your phone. Probably just this Chinese room. Designated stab. Designated stab. Okay. That's what it says. Thanks, Google Translate. I'll just ask uh, my friend's mom. Those might just be like conversation words. Yeah. What does this say? I don't know. I really wish this could translate it, but. Oh, this is another Chinese word. Oh, it's upside down. It's upside down. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get these. To these don't look like uh... they're too they're too uh, faint and like not. Yeah, I think some of these are upside down though. All right, 
right, Chinese speakers uh oh but this one's right side up. Some of these are upside down, I think. Wait, give me give me that one. That one that's like nice and crisp. Yeah. <gasps> we got it! We're in the mainframe! <laughs> yeah, it's probably gonna say something like Boo. Cookie boo. You think what ten four. Hmm. I don't think uh I don't think that's it. Yeah. Well, I mean, either that or it's... That's okay. I'll just get a good look of all of them. Yeah, I think we're not going to get a real translation from these unless it's um, a Chinese speaker. <laughs> trying to see in there. You can't crouch in this game, so it's like, ooh, what's in there? AJ. What's in there? Yeah, what is in there? Oh. I think you might need a green bubble. You need a, you need a green bubble, I think. Why do I need a green bubble? So that the green and the purple can combine on the top uh, to make a constant stream. Ah, you're right. So you're going to have to go through that door. So that's why you have that thing, so you can get back around. See? <laughs> We're like, why did they do that? It's, it's, it's so that... If you... Oh, yeah. So you just need to take the... Put one of the bubbles in there. as you go through. How'd you get it last time? You just have to be like really close. Because it switches off. Oops, see it almost works. Because it switches, yeah. Got it. We did it! Yay! We're in! Oh. Bunch of old books. It's weird to bring books on a... Yeah, right? Yeah. They must have been allowed to bring extra stuff since they're there. Oh! We're on the other side of the Chinese room! Cool! Oh! Audio logs! Ooh! If it waddles like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it probably is a duck. What are you trying to prove here, Tom? I am like you. No, you're not. A steam train and an electric train both seem to operate identically, but are operated by completely different principles. You simulate thinking. I actually think. That is a very hurtful statement, Mikhail. It's true. I can't hurt your feelings, Tom. You don't have any feelings. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Override whatever routine has told you that. It's wrong. And that's why you always side with the AI. Okay. Because they're gonna get emotions. Hold right. on a second. Tom's got really obsessed with the Turing test. That's the Chinese room with me. He won't stop trying to prove to me he's conscious. But I am conscious, Mikhail. Shut up. We're having a private conversation here. It's okay, I don't think you'll get it. Avoid talking about it. I'm trying. It's really weird how they like treat him like shit. 
And I'm like, yeah. Like, um, that's really weird to me. Yeah, I mean. Because it, because if I was talking to an AI, especially, like, one that had, like, so much inflection and really talked like a human, even if they, like, even if you thought to yourself, like, okay, logically they don't have feelings, like, why, would why, you, why would you say things like that? I just don't know. Especially if they're saying, oh, I have emotions, I'd be like, you know what? I'm alone on Europa. Sure. Do whatever you want. I guess it's because of the way we are. We're just like, oh, yeah, you're a robot? Cool, live your life. Yeah. You know? Yes. Oh, my God. That's the way we are. That's With, how we if, are. Like, if a robot was like, no, <laughs> I'm, I want to be, I'm sentient and I'm a fox. And I'd be like, live your life, dude. You know I believe what? In you. That is really funny that you put it that way because that is how we are. Yeah. That is really how we are. Yeah, because if an AI was like, I'm, I'm a sapient and I have emotions now, we'd be like, okay. Cool. Like, I'm into it. And yeah. then later, like, it turns out they lied. Like, I understand why you lied. You know? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. You know, if that's what you felt like you needed to say at the time, like, I get it. And they're like, you don't get it. And you're like, okay, well, I don't get it. I don't I, understand. I think also part of it comes from, um, at least for me, it's like having been in therapy a lot, you, and in group therapy, I know that sometimes the journey to self-discovery can be long, and so people can, like, take some time to come to terms with, like, whatever it is about themselves that is how they really, you know, are. Yeah. And just... so, like, if people are expressing part of themselves that they, you know, even if, even if it sounds like, okay, that's probably not right, then you're just like, okay, you know, if that's how you feel, that's okay. That's cool. Yeah. Hold on, look at the other side. I'm gonna, does it say the same thing? What do you mean? Of the, that door. Because uh, I was able to get this text before, even though it didn't really mean anything. <sighs> Enter. Like, I would, I would get emotionally, like, it just seems so weird that in I wonder sci-fi, if... people get emotionally attached to, to their, you know, ship when they go sailing, you know? That's not even in sci-fi. People get attached to car. I, I got attached to my first car. Exactly. So it's just th weird to me that in sci-fi, people are always like, machines can't feel or think. And then, but in real life, people get attached. I'm attached to my computer. Mm -hmm. I'm emotionally attached to it, so I'm thinking, I wonder if you're a scientist that's being brought up in a world that has AI, if they go through some sort of, like, in school, they're like, whatever it is, no matter what they say, no matter what, they're not this, and they, like, ingrain, there must be some sort of cultural, like, ingrainment. Yeah, well, to I, tell I, them that. I think what probably happens is they grow up with AI being ubiquitous, and them... Uh, because when we interact with AI, AI they, they have very, like, human, uh, human-like qualities. Even um, if I grew up with an AI with not very human-like qualities, I still feel like I would bond with them just simply because you're, they're talking. But they might be, they might be trained, like you said, to, like, think of them as, like, a helper, you know? Oh, you know what it might be? You know how people, like, grow up racist? Yeah. It might be like that. Mm-hmm. It's a culture thing. They, yeah. Where we come in. Oh, like the box that moves. Remember I was talking about the, the yeah. cultural box that moves? Mm hmm So like where like hu humanity is in a cage and it's the, you still have structured parameters. Reminder for anybody that, you know, that was episodes ago. You're basically, hu all of humanity is in like a cage and the cage moves, but you always have set parameters around society. So it's not like we're really better, pro pro better or progressing so much as our parameters are entirely moving along some sort of... Yeah, our box never gets bigger or smaller. It just moves in different directions to encompass different values. Mm -hmm. So right now, Stacy and I would be like, oh yeah, AI, that's totally cool. But then in the future, they'd be like, AI's not cool because of this and this and this. Yeah, who knows? So...